thank you for being here. Thank you. Right now, we'll give it up for our civil offering. Glory to God.
Bless the family. You may be seated in that praise God. Hallelujah. You know what? It's a blessing just to be able to come in here and give God the praise. And it's the truth. The Bible declared that hallelujah is one of the highest that you can give God. For you that were not in uh, Bible study on Tuesday night, and praise God. We were teaching from that subject, hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. When you look up that word, watch this now. When you look up that word, hallelujah, because a lot of you just say it, and you don't even know what you're saying. Come on, somebody. You better tell it. Yeah. But if you look up that word, amen, hallelujah, that word hallelujah in the Greek, you'll find it, amen, in the book of Revelation. You won't find hallelujah nowhere else in the course of the Bible. Check it out for yourself. Well, if you look at it there, amen, that word means to celebrate. Amen. Hallelujah means to celebrate. So every time that you holler, hallelujah, you ain't here celebrating something. See, I don't know what you've been through.
In other words, you tell God control my pressure. I wish I had a praying church. I wish I had a praying church. What kind of church is this? Is this a sanctified church? Yeah! Bless you. One more, we're gonna go on this, this more, but also that word in the Greek means glory. And the Bible declared that he would not share his glory with another. So every time you holler, hallelujah, you're saying glory to God. He is due all the honor, the praise, and the glory. Come on, tell him glory. Put your hands together, tell him thank you. That was just the highlights from Tuesday night. <laughs> that ain't the word for the day. Everybody look back this way again. Amen. Praise God. You know, that's just like for a boxer go in the ring. The box, he got to warm up. I, I was just warming up. <laughs> oh, bless you. Watch this. This morning, we're going to be preaching and teaching from this subject. Radical faith. Radical faith. Look at somebody and say, radical faith. See, God looking for some people that'll just go outside the box and just get rattled. Just get a little crazy. I got anybody here got a problem with just getting a little crazy? All right, yeah, let's pray. Let's pray for this world. Let's get the season first. You don't put on a pot unless you put some season in it. <laughs> I just seasoned the pot a little bit. Man. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Just a little season in the pot. Listen, everybody out here. Father, in the name of Jesus, I give you praise and glory. Thank you for just being here this morning. You've been good to us. You've been kind and merciful. We just want to tell you thank you. Thank you for where you brought us from. Thank you for where we're headed. But I thank you for the call, the mandate that you have put on our life. I thank you for it. Thank you for my place and purpose in life. I give you praise for that, God. And I thank you for just being one of the soldiers that you got on the war field and battlefield in these last days. God, I give you praise. Thank you for the family, my personal family. Thank you for my church family that you have surrounded me with. Thank you for the good peoples, the good men and women that you have aligned us with and around us. I give you praise and glory for it right now. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. And amen. amen. Everybody look this way. 12 o'clock. Amen. You work with me. I won't hold you long just long enough. All right. Amen. amen. Praise God. Listen, I want everybody to look this way, man. Praise God. When you go into radical faith, before I, I get into that word and tell you where we're coming from, a couple of different places, we need to understand what that word radical means. Isn't that right? Amen. amen. When you look up the word radical, amen. Praise God. We looked it up. Amen. Matter of fact, uh, I got a few things offline here, amen, because, you know, you wouldn't find it in Greek or Hebrew. Just, they, just, they just went that radical, you understand? <laughs> yeah, that came afterwards. But when you look up that word radicals, amen, you can look it up on the, look it up in the dictionary. It means going to the root of original fundamentals. Going to the root our origin, our fundamental. That means that they are the kind of peoples that go and dig down to the root of a problem. All right. See, except you can take care of problems from the root, it's not taken care of. And that's the truth. That's right. Oh, watch this. This might be a poor example, but it's an example. You dye your hair. If you want to look all black, you need to, you need to get in the root. 
And then you, no, don't get in the root, you just got that. And then when you really put a comb in it and lay it to the side, you're like, whoo! This is this is kind of too great. Eh? I need to get in the root. Well, when you're dealing with radical people, they're the kind of people that dig to the root of the problem. They're the people that try to dig up the problem. Gain the kind just trying to sweep it under the rug. Watch this. The next word that radical means, it means different. Amen. Not like that. Radical peoples are different people. They act different. They worship different. They say different. They shout different. They take it outside the box. That's radical. See why somebody looking at you. Come on now, you don't care. Sometimes them radical people, they just get more radical. Amen. Cause folks looking at me. Come on now, All right. Folks gonna be looking at me, that just make me more crazy. Amen. I'm trying to get more God. I know that's right. You better say that song. Right. More of him. Amen. Less of me. Amen. Pray to God. Yes. Gotta do a clean out. That's right. Clean you out. Amen. Put him in. That's right. Yes. Look at somebody and say, change, change, change. change, change. Radical, radical. Yeah. Watch this one. Also, radical means different, but also radical means change. See, radical people, they change stuff. Amen. In other words, they just declare that I'm not coming to church and going back home the same way. The radical people. And you got some folks, they come in unradical and go back out the same way they come in. I ain't coming in here sweating for nothing. I wish I had somebody. Uh, look at somebody say it's time to get radical. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Listen, also radical means change from accepted. Watch this. Change from the accepted or traditional. See, we got those old kind of folks just come to church and they come out of tradition. Yeah. True. Just come in and sit down, just traditional. Yes, yes. But radical peoples, mm -hmm. they take it out the norm. Come on now. Now you see how these brothers over here playing and stuff. They get a little radical. I don't know what be going on over here. One trying to out knock the other one. Or Now that's radical. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's radical. Isn't that the truth? Yeah. Amen. Praise God. Now here's what I want you to do. We want to just step outside of tradition just for a little while. Is that okay? Yeah. Yeah, just, just forget that this is just a traditional Sunday service. And, and I need some people that will go radical Amen. just for this service. Yeah, now, now, you didn't have no problem being radical when you was in the streets. No, no, you, you, was, you was different. Get you one good drink. It's a, you talk about radical. Talk more trash than the trash that you pick up. Cause you done got radical. Well, when you got the Holy Ghost, you ought to take that thing and get radical. Sit down, won't get you a blessing. Sit down trying to look and act cute. Won't get you a breakthrough. Radical people don't care how ugly 
after they get. Yeah. Yeah. Radical women don't care nothing about they 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 they, they, they eye and they line them stop running into it. Yeah. They don't care nothing about that half do they just got done. Because you see, if you get radical, God will give you money to get it redone. I wish I had somebody. Look at somebody and say, let's go radical. Let's go radical. It's time to go radical. Radical. If I praise him right, I praise the sweating out my feet. Come on and tell him, yeah. And if I'm broke, I'm going to praise him till some money get in my pocket. Come on and tell him, yeah. I got it in the with the people. Sense of humor to even act crazy. 
Some of you are so dignified in you know, I'm doing two. Okay, my stand up on the side. What's wrong with that picture? I'm in torture. You better preach, Matthew. <laughs> oh, bless him. Let, 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 let me get where we're going. Is that okay? Amen. Hebrew 11 and 1, they're reading you there. Amen. Woo. All right, let's read. Hebrews 11 and 1. 11 and 1. Now, faith. Now, faith. It is substance. Well, now, uh, I heard a preacher talking about this word one time now, and I began to look into it a little bit myself, and he was right. Because uh, in the original translation, you would not find the word now. Mm-hmm. Now, it's just not in the original translation. In the original translation, instead of now faith, it was faith is. Amen. With no now. Amen. Now came on afterwards, because remember, in in the beginning of it, everything was written in Hebrew and Greek. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. And you just wouldn't find now in the in the Hebrew of uh, the Greek. So afterwards it came on when the other scholars began to go over the scriptures and so forth. And then that word now was put on there. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. So that was almost like an add-on. Uh-huh. Mm. Look at somebody say, don't add on. Yeah. He says, now what? Faith. Faith. All right, everybody look this way. First of all, we need to dissect faith. Let's see what we're talking about whenever we say now faith. What are you talking about when you say now faith? When you look at the word faith and you look it up in the Greek translation because it's a New Testament word. Come on, somebody. That word in the Greek, faith means, watch this. And it means these words. It means persecution. Mm. So he said, now faith. Well, faith means persecution. Do you not know that you will be persecuted not because of you, but because of your faith? Amen. The devil is not after uh, our, our me. Mm-mm. Yeah, he, he's not after me. He's after my faith. Amen. He don't want to destroy me. No. Because I ain't nothing, no way, Amen. without God. Amen. How can you be something when you don't have God? Amen. So the devil said, if I can just destroy his faith, Come on now. That's it. That's it. I can destroy him. Amen. Don't get it twisted. I know that's right. Don't think he want you. He don't want you. I know that's right. He wants your faith. Amen. Your faith is what's valuable. Come on. Glory to God. So it means persecution. Well, the Bible says many of the other persecution, which I talk about persecuting, he said that we will be persecuted because of our faith. But watch this now. Also, the word faith means assurance. Hmm. Faith gives you that assurance that God is going to do what you ask. That's what it does. It assures me that God is going to do Somebody say you gotta have that radical faith. Amen. You gotta have that kind of faith that changes things. Amen. You gotta have that kind of faith when the doctor say you ain't got long to live. You can change that thing. Amen. Come on, now. Come on somebody. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. I refuse to live this way. Amen. Wait a minute. Let me throw this testimony in there. Uh, I, I, I've told it many times, amen, praise God, when I got my hand, I almost blew off my hand here. Only a couple pieces of uh, uh, skin was holding on to it. All of that was open from here to there. All that was open. And then when that was just a little end holding it on, and I was holding it in my hand, my hand was almost off. Well, I went to therapy after therapy, weeks and weeks and weeks, and guess what? It wouldn't get no better. One night before I went to bed, I got on my knees and I said, Lord, if I'm a man of God and if I'm walking and preaching faith, I said, then I need to have a miracle. Holy God. The doctor said, listen, he said, just go and keep going and maybe something will come out. It might not be that much. And then guess what? Then my next appointment, I just refused to go. I, I said, you know what? 
I ain't going no more. I'm through with therapy right now. I looked up to God and I say, God, I'm through with therapy. I ain't going no more. I refuse to go anymore. If I'm going to preach your gospel, then I need a miracle that somebody can see. Guess what? It's easy to talk about it, but when you need one, when you done got one, then you can tell somebody else how good God is. Well, when I made up in my mind, I said, I wasn't going no more. Then a few days after that, guess what? My fingers stopped moving. Because I was walking around just like this. I couldn't do nothing with it. Just a hand on, but it wouldn't do nothing. But then from that point on, stop moving. Talk to say you never hold nothing. You can't nothing. Nobody but God. That's when you got to step your own faith. Faith gives you that assurance that God going to do something. Faith takes you out the norm. It takes you into the invisible. You can't see it, but you just got to have it. Look at somebody say, hey. Just got to have it. And every now and then something will come up in your life to prove to you that you need to have it. Anybody been to the doctor, you know you need to have it. I ain't had nobody to call on but Jesus. I ain't had no preacher to call on but Jesus. I ain't had nobody else to help me but Jesus. Sometimes God say, I don't want you to get no help from nobody else. I want to be the one that help you. Then when I bring you out, then you give me the praise. You give me the glory. You give it all to me. Come on and tell us thank you. Y'all sitting in here like God ain't never done that for you. No, I just got faith. Watch this. Uh, as I've been praying and seeking God, death is nowhere on the on the menu right now. Later, but not right now. I wish I had somebody. Yeah, see, when you believe God, you got to believe him for everything. You got to believe if you want to live, you got to believe you're gonna live. I heard one man say, listen, he said you either get you either get busy living or get busy dying. Whatever you want to do, if you want to die. Live. I wish I had somebody. I don't want to just live, but I want to be here so I can praise God. I can lift him up. I can say hallelujah. I can give his name the honor, the glory, and all the praise. Come on and tell him thank God. Look at somebody and say, now faith. Now faith. Oh, you got to have it. Oh, wait a minute. What's this? Also, faith means belief. It means commitment. Faith means to authority uh, obey, I'm sorry, to obey uh, authority and here's one I like confidence faith is confidence see you gotta have confidence in what you believe in God for come on tell God thank you anybody here got confidence uh, watch this now uh, look at the uh, I want everybody to just look right at the top of the page there. Look at Hebrews uh, 10 and 38. Should just be right up there. I'm going to read it right quick. Now, the just shall live by faith. But if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. Look at somebody say the just. Shall live, shall live by faith. Yeah, see, see, just. If you look at the word just, that word in the Greek means righteous. Yeah, see, a uh, holy, holy people live by faith. Watch this now. So faith is something that we have, but I gotta live by it. Mm, it's not just having it, but live by it. Listen, here's what I need to share with you right now. I know right now we're living in uh, something called the recession. Some say we're living in a recession, but guess what? I don't even find the word 
word recession in the word. Recession is a man word. Not a God word. It's a man word. And not a God word. In Philippians, he said, but my God shall supply all of my needs according to his riches and glory Amen. by Christ Jesus. So, he'll supply my need. Come on. Count of a thousand hills belongs to the Lord. I wish I had somebody. You got to start walking by the word. Do what the word says. If you, if you got the word, then let the word work. That's right. Amen. Look at somebody and say, it ain't you working. It ain't you working. It's the word working. the word. Come on and tell God thank you. God told me to tell my people to hang in there. Do what they're supposed to do. For the just shall live by faith. He said my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray. Seek my faith. Turn from the wicked way. I wish I had somebody here. Somebody gotta make a turn. Somebody gotta believe God. Somebody gotta know that the just shall live by faith. Wait a minute. I don't care who ain't eating, I'm going to eat. I don't care who ain't got bill money, I'm going to have some bill money. I wish I had somebody in here. God is able to take care of us. Look at somebody and say, God will take care of me. Come on, come on, come on. If he take, if he take Israel and put them out in the desert for 40 years, and there was not a Walmart nowhere, when a wind dicks out there, when a Publix out there, when a Safeway out there, a safe stop, or wherever you Stop it too. It was nobody but God. Look at somebody say, Trust God. Trust God. Oh my God. He'll feed you. Yes, Look at somebody say, He'll feed you. He'll feed you. Listen, I ain't going on no diet because I can't get nothing to eat. If I don't lose some weight, it's because I don't want nothing to eat. I wish I had some. Come on, talk to me, somebody. How can y'all stay fat and poor in a time like this? Everybody else they lean and mean grilling machine, but look at y'all. <laughs> I wish I had somebody here. My God will take care of me. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Look what kind of time we in. We in a recession. Look at y'all. Ain't miss no meals. You ain't miss no meals. You get your grits and bacon and fat back. Ain't that the truth? You get your neck bones in that right. When everybody else has fell down. Why everybody, everybody going crazy, pulling their hair out, jumping out windows? I'm falling on my knees. I wish I had somebody. Come on, somebody. Ain't nothing wrong with going to the doctor, but you put God first. Oh, you go to the doctor, you do like David. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not go. Come on, somebody. God, you say you'll take care of me. You'll be a rock in a weary land. Come on, somebody. You need to tell God, I know you'll take care of me. Me. I know you'll bring me out. I know you'll bless me. Look at somebody say, bless me. Bless me. Bless his name. I feel this anointing in this place. Radical faith. All the just shall live by faith. Amen. Praise God. Read it. Here's what I need you to do. Let's go to St. Mark chapter number 5. St. Mark chapter number 5. Come on, go with me. St. Mark chapter number 5. Uh, yeah. Pick me up at verse number 25. Uh, mm, come on, one of the synoptic yeah. gospels. Oh, glory, hallelujah. Bless his name, bless his name. Amen. Mm, yeah. Go ahead. St. Mark 5 and 25. Watch this. And a certain woman. And a certain woman. Which had an issue of blood. This woman, watch this. It was a woman that had the scripture say, an issue. Of blood. Yeah, she said she had a problem, amen. Praise God for her cycle every month. In other words, her, her, her cycle was not stopping. Yeah. Uh, her cycle was, was, was it, it was out of whack. It, it was not normal. Come on, somebody. How many, how many of you know that a lot of things happen to you might not be normal? 
you everything that happened. Don't just think and say, oh, that ran in my family. I'll just stop saying that's like this. I don't care what killed my granddad, it ain't gonna kill me. I don't care what's on the family tree. Watch this. I'm on another tree now. Holy God. I'm on another tree. Been on top of that. I've been born again. I got a new daddy. My other daddy, he over there. Huh? In the cemetery. He over there in Evergreen. Mom over there in Evergreen. But I got a new dad. <laughs> He's been taking care of me. Holy God. So she had a problem that was out of the norm. Watch this now. The kind of problem that she had was in that day and time, during a woman's menstrual cycle, what she was supposed to do was not even be caught in public. She's supposed to be inside somewhere and not in public. So what had happened was this particular day when she heard that Jesus was coming, watch this. This lady said, listen, I got faith in God, but she said, I got to get radical. Yeah, I, I got to do something crazy. Anybody here ever had to make a crazy move? Sometimes you got to make a crazy move. You say, I don't know how I'm going to come out, but I'm going to make a crazy move. Yeah, see these folks on my job, they don't want to give me no more money, so I'm going to go in there and tell them, listen, I'm going to have to walk off and give me another job if y'all can give me no more money. Well, I'm going to make a crazy move. Somebody say, don't do it, but make a crazy. Sometimes you feel a little crazy and you say, I'm going for it. Anybody here ever say, I'm going for it. I don't know how I'm coming out, but I'm going for it. Because the God I serve, he going to bring me out because guess what? They can't find me. If God be for me, come on. Holy God, then who could be against me? So she says, listen, she heard that Jesus was coming, so right then she started her the, the wheels of the mind start running. But she said, Listen, I, I got to do something. It's either now or never. If I don't make a move now, then maybe nothing ain't gonna happen. Some of y'all sitting out here today need to make a move. Some of y'all sitting out there need to make a move. Time going by. It ain't gonna get no better, it's gonna get worse. You need to make a move. Mm. Come on, Rita, what she do? Yeah, right, verse 25. Talk to me. And issue of blood 12 years. 12 years dealing with that problem. So wait a minute now. Some of you enthusiasts that are out there and that might say, well, was she married? No. She had no man. Look at the condition she was in. Amen. 12 years. <laughs> now, now, Y'all, 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 I don't think she had nobody. So, she said, so I, I got to do something because I, I'm tired of being until you, wait a minute, until you get tired. Won't nothing happen for you until you get tired. See, you got to get sick and tired. You got to get tired of what the devil trying to do to you. You got to get tired of the devil taking your money. Get tired of the devil with his hand on your body. Get tired of the devil with his hand in your pocket until you get tired. Ain't nothing going to happen for you. Glory to God. What happened then, reader? Verse 26. Look at 26. And suffered many things of many physicians. Suffered many things. What the many physicians? Uh -huh. And had spent all that she had. She spent all. Oh. Ain't got no more money. Anybody done been there? Yeah. Just to spend. I ain't got no more money. I done spent my last money. Somebody said, I put my last five in gas. Yeah. Then come up in here and put my last two on the table. Uh, that sounds like somebody's in here. Ain't that the truth? Uh, but she knew she had to make a move. What happened there, Peter? And was nothing better. But they didn't do it no good. Have you ever been to some of these doctors? Before they look like they check you out good, they well, I'm gonna write you a prescription. Yes. All right! Yes. 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 He ain't finished checking me out. Some of them you gotta tell, what well, did you don't check this? Uh-uh. Yep. That's right. What about me? You ain't gonna check it? 
It's just some of them going there, you tell them this, that, and other. Okay, I'm wet. Check me! Look what them doc one time, he just going, after I told him whatever, he go like, all right, I'm going to write you up. I say, no, you ain't. He looked at me like, huh? Come on now. Check me, man! That's right. Come on now. Don't let me go black up in here. Check me, man. Come on, read what he says. But rather grew worse. But she got worse. Sometimes going through some stuff. Instead of getting better, you get worse. Back up in the Verse 27. Come on. When she had heard of Jesus. She heard of Jesus. She came in the press behind. She came in and she passed. Behind. That's right. Mm -hmm. And touch his garment. Touch right. his garment. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Everybody, let me put a stop sign. Everybody, look this way here. Now, the scripture in Hebrew 11 and 1, it says, Now, faith is the what? Substance of things what? Oh, for. Okay. All right. Now, here's something I, I need to share with you. Here, when the scripture says she pressed through the crowd, because, first of all, she had no business out there. Sometimes your faith will put you in a place that you got no business being. I wish I had somebody. Sometimes you'll wind up somewhere. Somebody look at you and say, what you doing here? Some of y'all on jobs where people look at you and say, what are you doing here? You ain't got no degree. Come on now. You ain't been to Harvard. Hey, hey. You ain't been to Princeton. Hey, hey. You ain't been to Mo House. Hey, hey. No, I ain't been to no house. All I got is God. Hey, hey. How many of you know you got to have God? I don't care what kind of college you got. You better make sure you got God. College don't work hey, hey. if you ain't got God. Hey, hey. Just because you got a college degree, that don't guarantee you no job. How to work right now. A lot of scientists have to work right now. But look at you. Ain't been to no house and got a job. I wish I had somebody here. How many of you know? Look at somebody and say, My God. He's a blind. He's a blind. All my knees. All my knees. What happened to him? Talk to me. Yes, he is. 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 He's a blind. What he says. For she says, she says, if I may touch but it's close. This woman, she got so radical, she said, wait a minute. First of all, I ain't got no business being out here. And she was at the house and she said, you know what? She said, if I want to get healed, I, I need to leave where I'm at. Everybody watch this and look what I'm doing here. If you want to get a breakthrough, you got to leave your place. Hey. If you want God to bless you, you got to get out of place. Amen. Amen. Uh, some of you just stay in place all the time. Uh -huh. But if you want a miracle, you got to get out of place. Amen. This woman said, if I stay here in the house, I ain't going to get nothing. Ain't nothing coming here. Folks done bought me out of here saying I ain't going to get hold of nothing. But she says, listen, I got to get out of here. I got to make a move. I got to make a crazy move here. Yes, I have. She said, his either now or never. She was standing there, but guess what? Even right there, her menstrual cycle was still going on. And you know she was weak, but she said, I got to make a move. Don't you know sometimes when you go through some mess, it makes you weak. But I don't care how weak you are. Wait a minute now. If this woman was weak and made a move, what about you sitting there with your strong self? Talk about you need a break too. You need to get on your feet and say, guess what? If she can make a move, I can make a move.
she was weak. Wait a minute, wait a minute. And you know when somebody weak, they, they move weak. Oh, that's dumb. She was weak. This woman been like this for 20 years. Huh. Ain't nobody coming to the house. Ain't nobody helping me. Ain't nobody talking to me. Everybody ain't up walking past me. And everybody just walk past my house and say, that's the woman with the issue. See, sometimes folks won't talk about you. They'll talk about what you got. Talk about what you got, not so much talk about you. They talk about what you got. But yeah, that's the that's the that's the woman that got that bad disease. That that's that man that got that bad disease. That that's that woman that got that woman's problem. Oh, I wish I had somebody. People identify you by what you got, but the God I serve, He don't identify me by what I got because He said by my strength. We are healed. I'm healed because of Jesus Christ. Free God of faith. But now faith is the substance of things over. The evidence of being not seen. The Bible says without faith is impossible to please God. But he that cometh to God must believe that he is and he is the reward. But he is that devil seek him. Look at somebody and say he'll reward you. She said, I don't care how weak I am. Ah, uh, but that particular day. She said, I got to get radical. Taps her on the shoulder and says, radical tap. Uh, hey, wait a minute. I remember back in the day, around about 12 noon, the people that went to the bar or went to have a drink, they called it what I Wait a minute. I forgot to tell you one thing this morning. God just dropped it in my spirit. The word hallelujah in the Greek translation. It also means happy. It means happy. Look at some out there. I'm happy. Oh, yeah. You say hallelujah. hallelujah. You'll get happy. I want to be happy.
This one you talk to. This one. I want you to move in his spot. You move that. You move in his spot. I want everybody to switch spots right now.
Uh, Brother Thomas, will you check the camera because somebody went like, and the camera turned, so it's kind of going over here. Listen, just turn it one minute on there. Man. How you feel, man? 
Uh, Paul went out of it. What did he do? Come on. Who touched my clothes? Jesus turned around. He said, listen, somebody, they didn't touch me, but they touched my clothes. Yes. Mm -hmm. He said, somebody touched my clothes. Amen. What happened then, Rita? And his disciples said unto him. What's his disciples said? Now see if the multitude is throwing you. Listen, listen. They said, Master, multitude is throwing you. In other words, they're pushing against you. There's so many people out here. You turn around to my who touched you. Everybody's touching you. Everybody's touching you. But here's the point. There was only one person. Faith. Amen. Was touching. That's there right. was one woman with that radical faith. Everybody else out there just was out there. They was touching him. But when that touched them. She, she touched him. And that power come out of him. Went into her. And immediately. That issue. Stop. You can't be the same when you have the encounter with him. Come on, Rita. What he says. And Sam not who touched me. Come on, come on. And he looked round right about to see her. Come on. That had done this thing. Uh-huh. But the woman fearing and trembling, knowing what was done in her. She was scared. Done got a miracle, but was scared. Uh -huh. She was scared. And what did she do here? Came and fell down before she him. She came and fell down before him. And told him all the truth. She told him all the truth. Said, Lord, I, I, I'm the one that's touching. See, see, I've been messed up for 12 years. I needed to touch him. I was even supposed to be out here. I was supposed to be in my house. But I had to get out of the place in order to get to the place. Oh, my God, that's it. Mm. Sometimes getting out of place just to get to the place. Look at somebody say, I got to the place. <laughs> That's where your miracle is. Come on, read what? Verse 34. Look at 34, almost done. And he said unto her. He said unto her. Daughter. Daughter. Thy faith has made thee whole. See what he's saying? Daughter. Not you. Your faith has made thee whole. It was your faith that touched me. That's what touched me. That's what got my attention. For the just shall live by faith. Come on. So he says, listen. If we don't have faith, the Bible says it's impossible to please God. We can't even please him without faith. So in closing, it was her faith that got her out of a place. And put her all the way in the place. Yes. See, your faith, your faith got to put you in the place. The place of miracles. The place of breakthrough. The place of miracles. The place of prosperity. The place of a lawyer. Anybody need a lawyer? Anybody need a doctor? I ain't talking about Dr. Jackson, Dr. Johnson, whatever your doctor's name. But I'm talking about Dr. Jesus. <laughs> you ain't got to wait in line. You ain't got to sign in. You ain't got to let the receptionist know that you're here. You don't need a receptionist. You don't have to come there and knock on the little thing. And they act like they don't even want to open up the little door. Girl, I know you back there. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm out here hurting what y'all doing. Have you ever been in the emergency room? They waiting on everybody to look like you just laid down. All of you look like you're about to die. You look like nobody waiting on you. You can't get radical, but your people say, hey, my daughter over here, what y'all gonna do? My daughter hurting over here. Amen. 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 They'll make you get radical in that emergency room, and you ain't even on the car. Anybody been there? You got to speak up, hey. Over here. Doctor! 
You got to act up sometimes. In order to make somebody listen to me. Glory to God. Everybody stand on your feet off that. Y'all come on, sing that. Give him some likes. Let him sing that. Bro. I'm done. Glory to God. You don't put it up.